But there we go, let's have this on. There we go, if you look in there, it's a little bit dirty, we'll clean that out in a minute. Um, always do this on a piece of cardboard or something uh, away from the main bench where the main, where any main debris is. I always put mine on a piece of cardboard because then I can keep it away from everything else. Okay, we've got a little gasket in there, a little cork gasket. I have to be quite delicate, so we'll have to be uh, quite gentle with that. I've got a little pick-like tool that I use for this. This has got to come out really because what we want to do is... Um, get this gauze here, this metal gauze, and clean behind it. That's it, nice and gentle. Go across like that. I haven't really come across many that are this stuck, so when you come to do yours I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be different. Okay, there's the gasket out, put it up there, and this is the filter, the gauze. Right, we've just got to make sure that this is nice and clean, basically. Make sure it's blown out with the airline, uh, we'll go through that in a minute. Okay, now, if you notice here, you've got two metal layers here. So, undoing these bolts all, all round, we'll take that metal layer off. Uh, we'll take the top one off first, so we'll uh, take it off. These bolts out. Now, before we take this off, if you look here, there is, look on the top, you'll see this impression out, out here. And that goes all the way down to the carb body. So that's the way it's got to go back on, of course. If you look right round, that's the only place where the impression comes out, and as I say, long as it marries up with that when we come to put it back on. That's great. Okay, so. I think let's be careful how we take this off now because there are diaphragms in between there and there. So, we'll gently pop this off. That's the top bit. If we look in there, it's quite clean, this one. I mean, they do get a lot of debris in here. And if yours has got a lot of debris in here, then that's how they normally are. This is actually quite a clean uh, carburetor. Right, now the uh, diaphragms. Let's gently have a look at this diaphragm. The top one is a diaphragm. So I'll gently take that off there. And then it should lift off. Okay. Remember what I said about the impressions. The impressions are also in the diaphragm. So that will go back on that way. What I tend to do is, if I've got this here, the other side, take it straight off and flip it on the opposite side on there so that you know where the diaphragms go. This one's actually a gasket. The diaphragm actually works on that, those points there, and allows the fuel to come through these little flaps here in metered amounts through these little holes. Okay, that's how it actually works. If you look on this diaphragm, we've actually got some dirt there. Right, so this is the gasket. And that always goes onto the metal first. If you look in there, there's quite a bit of debris in there. So it is dirty. It shouldn't... I mean, that... I mean, there, there's usually a lot more dirt than this. But even so, that's still way too much dirt to leave in a carburetor. That is. Okay. Now, this gasket... Don't be surprised if you don't find that it's stuck to the base of the uh, metal here. If it is... Don't worry too much about trying to fetch this off, or she might damage it and you'll have to put new gaskets on. So you can leave that on there. You can even go through the cleaning process with this on there, and I'll show you in a minute. Now, let's put, take the next layer off. The best way I find is to get something and lever it up like this. Gently again, because it can damage the, the, the diaphragm or the, uh, the gasket. Okay, so that's le levered up nicely. See there how it's stuck to the bottom, but also it's stuck to the top that side stuck to the bottom there it's stuck to the top there in that case we've got to be careful how we take it off or we'll rip the gasket because the top wants it and so does the bottom so be nice and gentle
ease it off. That's it, it's eased off okay. This is the main meter in diaphragm. This is the diaphragm uh, that meters the amount of fuel coming into it basically. Okay, so let's have a look at getting that diaphragm off. Whatever you do, as long as you go careful, this should be okay. Okay. Peel off gently. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any damages caused by pulling that off there. Now if you look at the shape of this diaphragm here, you can see in these areas there, it looks quite crinkled. At this point you could quite easily say, well yes, let's put a new diaphragm on. I have seen them run good though with diaphragms on, you know, that are in this state. So, on this occasion, I'm going to clean it, I'm going to put these diaphragms back in, in a minute. So just remembering where that goes. Okay again. It won't really matter too much if you don't take this off here. We can still clean it. We can still clean the uh, the actual carburetor. This is your meter in lever, which that um, that point on the, the the diaphragm meter meters the amount of fuel. What it does basically that diaphragm there pushes down onto there, lifts this, uh, which is the meter in valve, or the meter in needle, and allows fuel to come in at the right amounts. So what we're going to do now, we're going to make sure it's clean down here. So we'll take this off here. So we get a screwdriver. Allow that to drop. There's a spring behind here, so just be careful it doesn't go flying off and that you never see it again. Okay, now we can take this out here. This is the basically the uh, the seat for the metering uh, lever. It's not essential we take it off, and in this occasion we won't because we can still clean down there anyway. Okay, so I've done it, I've done these many a time. I've done hundreds of these, and I've already ever took this out unless I've had, really had to. If it really looks dirty or or really or really feel that it's got a fuel problem, this core plug. Um, it's sometimes advisable to remove that core plug. A uh, little tiny drill hole through it and then fish it out and replace the core plug. On this occasion I won't again because a lot of the time we don't really need to take that out but there, there's sometimes dirt behind there. Okay. Now we'll take out the jets. Uh, you'll see on the jets that there is uh, an L and an H. If you can just uh, That's to set the uh, mixture for the low speed of the machine and that's to set the mixture for the high speed of the machine. Okay. Let's take these right out. They are different. These, on, on, on many machines these jets are different. One's longer than the other or thicker than the other. So when we take, the best thing to do is when you take them out, notice which one you're taking out. I'm now taking out the uh, H which is the high. So we'll see. Just make sure as well when you take these out that you take out the little washer and the o-ring just there with it. There. Because you can clean them and blow them out and then not realise that these are in place and these can go flying off and it'll stop you rebuilding it. You'll have to order something new in. Okay, so that's the high. So the high I'm going to put to the right. So the high I've put there. Okay, now we'll take the low out. The L. Again, remembering to take the uh, the washer and the little O-ring out. It's essential that these go back in this washer and O-ring because this seals uh, seals down there and allows the mixture mixture to be right in the carburetor. So we'll put this on the left. If we put them together these don't actually seem that different but because we are going to do this 